everyone, and welcome back to Trash Gamers. I'm Howl. And I'm Izzy. And we are back uh, recording. It has been like almost two weeks for us, hasn't it? It has. I've been sick, so... Yeah, so we uh, had a road trip to New England. We'll, we can talk about that uh, either this episode or the next episode. Um, but then right after our trip, uh, we were both fully vaccinated, of course, but right after the trip, uh, Weasel got back with, like, a really bad cold. Uh, he's been dealing with that for the past few days. Um, so we haven't been able to record much, because it's just been, uh, I know you're in a lot of coughing fits. Yeah, I mean, a lot of coughing fits, I haven't really been able to talk. Yeah. But even right now, like, my voice still hasn't even recovered right. from it, so. Yep. Uh, but we're getting there. Yep. Good. It's not lasting forever. Right. Um, the trip was awesome, though. Oh, yeah. We had a blast on this trip. Because um, we... Uh, it was my uh, Christmas present to Izzy uh, to check out some horror slash creepy locations in New England. Yeah. So, I mean, we went all over the place in New England. We hit up Pennsylvania. We hit up uh, Maryland. Uh New York, New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We uh, started with Seneca Creek State Park in Maryland, because uh, that's where the Blair Witch was filmed. Um, then we went up to Eastern State Penitentiary in Pennsylvania. Um, visited a good author friend of ours, uh, Gray Flank, or Bill Kiefer, in New Jersey. I uh, checked out the Devil's Tree there. Um we did more than check out the Devil's Tree, but yes, you know. we did. <laughs> uh, and then we, um, what did we do after that? We went to Salem uh, and uh, Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. Yeah, so we hit up Salem and Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. Then we saw our friends in New Hampshire. Yep, we had a friend in New Hampshire uh, from Primal Hardware, uh, adult toy company. Um, and then we started heading back. Um, yeah, we had some great food along the way, too, though, between uh, Lobster Shanty in Salem to um, some great food from Primal Hardware, because they make good food and food toys. Um, Philly Cheesesteak in Philadelphia and Pizza in New York. Yeah, and um, it was a lot of driving. Yep, it was a lot. Way more driving than I imagined it would be. Yeah, I think that Saturday we did 16 hours straight driving. Well, not straight, like we had occasional like food breaks. Yeah, which I mean, considering our Florida road trip, like it was about the same, only less traffic. Right, exactly. And traffic wasn't bad until we got to New York City on the way up, because we had to go up from Maryland. So that was pretty bad. Yeah. Um, um, I hated that. And Maryland was a pain anyways with their with the gas shortage happening. Oh, yeah, because we, we came right when that happened. Yep. All right. So I really haven't been paying attention to what he's been saying. Yeah, this is a weird part of the game. It's like, for some reason, you're supposed to tell him that the kids are safe mm -hmm. instead of bringing them back like a normal person. Um, and Renato has also told you that this guy, the mayor of your village... I uh, can help you fight the Gorons, because uh, he's fought them before. Okay. Yep. So he had a little secret, meaning he cheated. So you can't disclose it to anyone. Fine. Good. Alrighty then. Absolutely no one. Come this way. And he just teaches you how to eat a crap ton of food and become a super wrestler. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Right. If you're going to have to learn how to do some wrestling, it's the same as stopping the charging goats. <laughs> Your favorite mechanic of the game so far. If you get in a sumo match, chances are you're in an arena like this. First of all, to push this foe outside the arena wins. Step forward and grab your foe with A. Use B to let a retreating foe taste your open palm. Sidestep a foe's advance with left to right. So start with A, then use B, then left and right. Yep. 
three techniques, all of them pretty basic. Master all three, and you'll be shoving folks out of the arena in no time, lad. So there you go, the basics of the sumo. Need to hear them again? Rather than explain a lot, why don't we just get to it? Come into the ring, lad. Lad, I don't know. It's not a very southern word to say. Oh no. There's way more of your taint that I wish to see. <laughs> I'm all taint. <laughs> all okay. taint. Now it's your turn. Like those Majora's Mask enemies. So why don't we see Link's taint? Right. Why can't we see him in uh, that underwear? Exactly. <laughs> all right, here you go. I hit. Nice dodge. Oh, here he comes at you. There you go. Nicely done. Alright, so I just did the one. That was A. Yeah. That's all it told me to do, though. Is it going to do the it others? Won't, it won't tell you to do the others. That's just, you have to... It's like a fighting game, you know? Oh, you kind of have to fucking figure it out? Yep. And sometimes it's... Like, this time it'll be a little bit harder for you. Okay. And you might have to use the other mechanics as well. Yep, see, he's moving this time. Yep. Oh, he is like, rad than titties. Yep. <laughs> Take that, bitch. Ah, nice. Fuck you. Hells yeah. I actually kind of sucked at this, so it's kind of awesome you're doing well at it. I am just mashing buttons. <laughs> you're the button mashing king. Yeah, his dialogue is really weird because he does things like not too shabby, lad. Yeah. Like very British. But then he also like cuts off <clears throat> certain consonants that's very southern. Like, beat the Gorons wrestling with power alone. It's like I mean, who knows? Maybe this uh, village was populated by Christopher Lee and a Southern Belle. Maybe that'd be an experience. So, like a uh, Christopher Lee and the Wicker Man. Yeah. <laughs> nah. See, he even says nah. It's very like, southern. Yeah. It's very um, hillbillies in a haunted house. Right. Take it with you, lad. I don't know. He's weird. Could All be, right. could be like a Scottish thing. Uh, hang on, wait. You've got to defeat the Gorons. You're not going to do this without a little. Oh, so he still hasn't actually given you the secret. Oh, he wanted you to open it. Oh, chest. okay. I haven't been paying attention to the yeah, words he's saying. I wasn't. All right. Uh, um, is, oh, there it is. What could this be? Is it an item? Iron boots. Iron boots, okay. Yep. So this was kind of cool. Um, like, in previous Zelda games, uh, the iron boots were kind of used to keep you uh, on the on the ocean floor if you were in a water level. And that was pretty much it. Okay. Uh, in this game, they actually create new mechanics for you to have to use the iron boots for. Okay. Uh, so in this case, you can actually wrestle Gorons sumo style. If you're having the iron boots on. Alright, let me make sure I ain't gotta do something. Right. Uh, that's it. We are gonna get a piece of heart um, before we leave. Okay. Uh, this is one that might be an optional one for us, because I know you're not gonna be a fan of it. So we can skip this one uh, if it's a bit much for you. Well, let's get the heart. Um, and who knows? If you end up having to do it, that means you end up having to do it. Oh, jeez. Uh, so you want to go back to the ranch, which is up through there. Um, and you'll talk with the guy there. I'm looking at Zelda Dungeon. Uh, he'll tell you, the, the guy will tell you the kids are safe. Or he'll, he's glad the kids are safe. Um, make sure you're staying on opponent the second time you talk to him. Um, and he'll ask you if you can herd the goats one more time. Agree to do so. And as long as you, there he is, we passed him. I know. Uh, and if you can do the task in less than three minutes, you'll get a piece of heart. When was the last time I did this? I don't know. Back it up. There you go. Cock waffle. No fooling. The tots are safe. Them taters. They needed some cooking. 
And on top of that, they're all in Kakarakak Village. Ah, oh, shucks. You don't need to worry about that now. They're fine with this total stranger who's not a parent. You're incredible, bud. I can already see everybody's smiling faces. All the way from here in the ranch. I can see it like Asia from my backyard. Well, hey there, Kakoff. I brought your penis, huh? Well, how's about it? Want to round them goats up for the first time in the dog's age? I bet these camps are sure happy to see you. <clears throat> All right, good luck. All right, let's try this. Right. Remember not to piss them off this time. All right, three minutes, right? Yep. Oh, nice. You got a fifth of them in in ten seconds. So. All right, let's see. Let's see who I can cluster in here. Oh, ooh, that was bad. That one was bad. Get in there. Okay. He said three minutes, right? Yep. It's only been 30 seconds. I'm yep. still good. Now it's been 40 seconds. Are you concerned? Yes. Nice. You're almost halfway there. Almost living on the prayer? Yeah, but if you can get one more in. Okay. Bitch. Okay. So you're a third of the way through the time and halfway through this. Alright, so let's start with you three. Alright. Nice. Seven more to go. I feel like the three minutes is really generous. And maybe it is. Maybe it's. Which know. is not a bad thing. Because who likes this game, you know? Yeah. Come here, you. Like, there's a reason there wasn't a side game made called Zelda Go For You. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna focus on you guys because we're halfway through the time. Yep. Come on, you three. Or two. Yep. There you go. Nice. Five more to go. And these would be the worst five because they're all pretty well split, split apart. Split apart, yeah. Yep. I mean, if you can just focus on one at a time, you should be able to get it in time. Okay, four more. You have a minute to get four more in. I wish this thing would let me, like, move the horse faster. You yeah. Know? I get you. Oh, no. Okay. Three more. There you go. Two more. Come at these guys from the right. There you go. All right, so let's scoop them. Let's go. There you go. You got this. Oh, come on, go. There you go. There we go. Hells yeah. With like 25 seconds to spare. Fuck, that was nerve-wracking. Right? Oh, way around, Cockwaffle. You wrap that up in just 2.35. I counted. I know it doesn't look like it. But I have a stopwatch in my underwear. That's unfortunate. Thanks to you, I wrapped things up a mile earlier today. You might say 25 seconds earlier. <laughs> hey, as promised, here's a little healthy gift for y'all. Good luck out there, bud. Nice. Actually, wasn't too bad for you. No, but none of them got angry if you noticed that too. Yeah, you didn't run into any of them this time. So that's, that's good. Okay, uh... So now, um, we need to go uh, back to Kakariko Village. All right, let's get going. Yep, let's get going, bud. So what was your favorite uh, stop uh, on the road trip? Um, I really liked the Devil's Tree. Yeah. Like, that was probably the most fun. Yeah. Uh, mostly because of all the... Just the, uh, I guess, the lore or rumors around it. Oh, yeah. Um, you could literally just pull off on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. That's probably about the nicest thing about New Jersey that was there, you know? Because yeah. yeah. I'm not a fan of New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, mostly because I think, I think it's weird that New Jersey has... Um, am I going this way? Yep. 
Uh, it was, it's weird that New Jersey doesn't allow people to fill up on their own gas. Like, right. Fuck you guys. Yeah, it's, that was that was weird. Was not a fan of that, especially yeah. during the gas shortage too. That made it extra annoying. Yeah. Um, I also like getting pizza in New York just because it's like. I now have the ability to say, yes, I've had pizza in New right. York. You know, a lot of my right. friends can't even say the right, that. Right, right. You decided to go left completely, and you're still going left. There you go. That's how you go over the right. Oh, my God. You're like, I was going to the right. Jesus. There you go. Maybe by the end of our channel in, like, 30 years, you want to watch right. To the right, to the right, to the right. Right? There you go. Maybe by the end of this channel, you will learn what the right is. Maybe. I'm hopeful. I am not. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, New Jersey was, uh, I enjoyed the Devil's Tree too. It was, because it was so out of the way. Um, it was so, uh, go to the right. Yeah. Um, it was so out of the way. It was a pretty sunset. Uh, we had some good times in front of that tree. We got a really good picture in front of that tree. We got a few really good pictures. Yeah. And, um, again, as you said, the rumors and legends behind it were super cool and creepy. So. Yeah. Uh, I would have liked Seneca Creek Park a bit more if we had more time to yeah, explore that Yeah, we didn't have a whole lot of time that morning. Um, uh, Salem, I like, but there's just, like, Salem was very much shopping, which is something that I love to do. Right. At the same time, it's like, they didn't have much for me. Yeah. Like, cool. Right. They had some nice shops, but yeah. I ended up getting more for gifts for family than myself. Yeah, that's true. You did not go a little bit fast enough. I always need to pay attention. Nope. Alright, let's try this again. Yep. And you can use your sword wall on the horse, too. Ah. Good job. You found the wall. Ass. <laughs> We're gonna get there with... Something will happen in this in this video, I promise you right. guys. Um, but it's kinda cool, we are... At least there on Zelda go. Dungeon, on chapter 6 out of 22. So we're actually making... Uh, pretty significant progress, thankfully. But I feel like a third of the game is just that open area, you know? Yeah. Oh no. Right. Nasty Ganork, what are you doing here? Alright. Yeah, I can see it. <clears throat> oh, this guy? <laughs> this is the guy they chose to save them? Right. <laughs> He's like, nope. Sees you coming in. Oh, Link is mad. Ooh, so now you gotta follow him. Alright, so it's you versus King Baldwin. Alright, let's do it. Yep, you gotta hop over that fence. There you go. Alright, so this is the time when you need to really... You have to fight on horseback. So... Oh, this is gonna be fun. It actually... I enjoyed it. I think it was one of my favorite parts about this game. That's funny, because I think a lot of what you enjoy are things that I don't enjoy about the game. That's true. Um, but I felt like the fighting mechanics on horseback were a lot um, easier than Ocarina of Time. <clears throat> well, let's find out. Yep.
Do I at least get to use my boomerang? Or am I just using my sword? Just use your sword. And you're going after the king, but others might come up toward you and you can just slash them as you need to. Oh, you almost had it. There you go. Nicely done. Get out of my way, ho! <laughs> like, damn! Right. Fuck you! Nice! Okay. Die. Right. I see you. Ah, get my way. Right. Nicely done. Hell's yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh! Got thrown. It's okay. Get back on. Right. Okay, you can get bludgeoned off, and then it gives you like a hit point before you fall off completely. Oh, that was sneaky on there. Ha <laughs> ha! Damn, they're idiots. Fortunately, they're idiots. Right. Okay, you've successfully made circles. Nice. Well, yeah. Like, he's trying to hide behind those things. Nicely done. So I guess I have to kill the boars just to have them stop? I don't think so. I think they're literally just going to keep going. I think you just have to focus on the king, and they're just going to be there to constantly distract you. Where is the king? I kind of lost him. He's not that way. Nice. He doesn't move around a whole lot, so he's like camping out in one spot that you're just not looking at. Well. There he is. He likes watching from a distance. There you go. Nicely done. Yeah, that wasn't that bad, actually. Yep. Alright, now here's an actual, like, serious joust, and there's no distractions. <clears throat> I remember I died a couple times on this, um, but it's all about timing. You got this. What am I using, B? Yep, it's just the same as what you've been doing. Yep. What? Yep. Uh, as is the typical joust, you have to dodge a little bit. The ideal is you want to go right past them and use your sword. Okay. Yeah. Because if you run right into them, you're going to get knocked off. You're about to get a game over, too. Okay. That's fine. Uh, you, did a, you did a good fake out, but you forgot Link is left-handed. You should turn around. I'm trying. Ah. Uh, it says that you need to stay on the left side of the screen, and then when he gets close, sh shoot to the right and swing. To the right. Nicely done. And it helps if you are going faster a little bit, too, I think. But you did it just fine going slow. Well, I would like to turn around. You Thank might take you. a second, yeah. So yeah, I recommend staying on the left and then back to the right. Nicely done. You did it. You defeated King Baldwin. Yeah. All right.
Right, see, I told you guys we'd have something this episode. Right. Epic pose. Is everyone okay? Oh my, there's a love making eyes. Oh, there's the creepy baby. That baby's the creepiest. Good. <clears throat> Beth, I'm sorry. You know, for shoving you, are you mad? I fucking nail. I, I think I finally understand. I'm a blonde. <laughs> <laughs> I understand what my dad meant when he told me I needed to be stronger like you, Cockwaffle. I need more thrusting power. Yes. To thrust inside Snatch, that is true power. He was talking about being brave. <laughs> uh huh. <clears throat> That's how you grab them by the pussy, right, Link? No. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> we would not be doing that here. Right. You, you can do anything. I could do anything because this game told me I could. <laughs> You can do something to help the Gorons in the mine too, can't you, Cockwaffle? That's what I'm programmed to do. <laughs> Bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Come, children. I'm the collector of children. Come, come. I'm sure we will see the kids again. Yeah. Alright, let's go kill these Gorons. Well, actually, I think that uh, concludes this episode. Next, it's time for next time on Trash Gamers. Yep, see you next time in the trash pile. Bye! Bye.